Edison here withdraws suit against 25 Rivers Assembly members. Wow. <laughs> so the main ally to Governor Fubara in River State, who has resigned from being the Speaker of the House of Assembly and now the Chief of Staff to the Governor, has uh, subsequently withdrawn, uh, withdrew uh, the case that he instituted in the court against the 25 uh, lawmakers that defected to APC. I think this is in line with making peace with the, um, you know, according to the resolution reached through the intervention of Tinubu as the president, the eight point resolution, which Fubara agreed to implement. So with what is happening, it means that uh, Edison here is still working with Fubara in ensuring that those agreements are properly implemented. And... Uh, uh, just like uh, the governor said that uh, he resigned from being speaker just for the purpose of making peace. And so they're still in the peacemaking process. Let's dive into the details to see exactly what uh, is transpiring here. Last December, a uh, a close ally of the state governor, Siminalai Fubara, declared the seats of uh, 27 lawmake, uh, lawmakers vacant over their defection from the People Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress APC. Hmm. So there appears to be an end to the political crisis rocking River State as the member representing Ahoda East Constituency 2 at the River State House of Assembly this year has withdrawn his contempt proceedings, uh, proceedings suit against 25 all the 27 defected uh, lawmakers. Wow. Now, wow. Okay, so however, Two of the lawmakers last later returned to the PDP. A here led the group of five lawmakers loyal to the governor. Uh, Fubara, on the other hand, Fubara, on the other hand, has been engaged in a fierce political battle with his predecessor Nyesum Mwike, the FCT minister. So earlier, A here filed contempt proceedings at the River State. Uh, high court in Port Harcourt against 25 of them in which he challenged their sittings and legislative activities. So in an interesting turn of event, however, he resigned his position in the House of Assembly following the peace deal reached between Governor Fubara and Winky. So now Mr. here is discontinuing and withdrawing his suit against 25 uh, lawmakers. <laughs> now, wow. So when the matter came up for hearing of applications pending uh, before the court today, counsel to the claimant Mark Barango Esquire informed the court about a notice of discontinuance filed by his clients. He applied that the court should give effect to the said uh, notice. This request wasn't challenged by the defendant's counsel and as such was struck out by the judge. Now, uh, <laughs> so like I said earlier, this is because they want to maintain peace with, uh, uh, you know, the people of River State, according to the uh, the peace agreement reached with the, um, uh, you know, with you know, be, I mean, between Mwike and Fubara. So with this now, it is obvious that Edison is working with. Uh, uh, working with Fubara on ensuring the full implementation of that eight-point uh, resolution that was uh, produced as a result of intervention of Mr. President Bola Metinubu. So with this now, the question is, is, is Fubara and Edison not played into the hand of APC? Because I am pretty sure that APC want to own River State. And I'm also pretty sure that Mwike want to see how he can hand over the state to APC. I am pretty sure that Nwike and Tunubu are not resting until there is peace. I mean, uh, apart from peace, until they own River State. Okay? So, are we also sure whether by the time they reinstate all the 27 lawmakers that they are not going to still impeach the governor, whether they are in, in a PDPO or APC? If I would not even know whether they are going to be reinstated as APC members or as uh, PDP members as it is. Because PDP as a party is still saying that those people have lost their seat. And as such, they are no longer uh, 
uh, even if they even if they are still member of PDP, they can't have their seat. Uh, but I don't see them welcoming them back to PDP. They are going to be in APC because they have not shown interest of um, returning back to PDP yet. They want to remain in APC. So it's a very complex one. Um, I don't know where Fubara is. And following the, the uh, what is his name, uh, Magnus Abbey, uh, the, the governorship candidate of SDP in River State, has uh, just defected from uh, SDP to APC, wanting to work with Tinubu as well. So with all of this, what is the state or the fate of the River State elders who were actually fighting for Fubara from the beginning? How is it going to look like? How is it going to be for them? Okay. And what about those members of the House of Rep from our Hoda uh, constituency that were also fighting for Fubara? Is Fubara really not disappointing his key supporters in River State? I wish sure all this peace that he's working for will last forever. Everybody wants peace, actually. And uh, there has to be peace in the state for there to be good governance. But with what Fubara is doing, are you sure there's wisdom? Are you sure his hands are not going to be tied? Because already the elders of River State have said that the peace uh, resolution actually is a death sentence and it's tying Fubara hand and leg and it's not going to be able to move. It means that the state will still, even as a PDP state, will still be controlled heavily by APC. And seeing the way Fubara is uh, praising uh, Tinubu and singing his praises, you know that the boy... It's an APC boy from inside or just a PDP from outside. That is the truth. The thing, it gets as it be. All right. There are some uh, uh, comments here. Uh, let me see. There are a few comments here um, at the end. Uh, somebody is saying here, I advise Wiki, Fubara, and all members of the River State House of Assembly not to listen to any news on social media because 90% of the news on social media is a fake news. They should concentrate on total peace in River State. I salute the River State Governor. May God bless him. Okay? So somebody here, I'm sure this person is uh, actually appreciating the Governor because there has to be peace in the state. But on a more serious note, I'm sure because APC seems to be winning. APC seems to be winning in this matter. That is it. And there's one reply to that comment. Uh, there's another person saying, okay, okay, when you say fake news, actually, the platform will come out and, uh, and say something about it. Okay, so that's a good step. I salute you, sir. That's so people are appreciating uh, Fubara for, you know, standing for peace in the state. And that's exactly what everybody wants anyway. Um, so let's have a comment concerning what is happening between Fubara and his uh, new chief of staff, um, Edison here. But even at that, the former chief of staff, Chede, who is doing PDP but an ally to Wiki, still has not resigned and they're asking him now to resign properly. The Joe Youth Congress, uh, IYC, they are asking Edison here, I mean, uh, Fubara to properly declare um Edison here as his chief of staff and also effectively confirm that Chede, the former chief of staff, has resigned properly. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.